of the weekend, you know, at least we've got this easy, all right? Birds and the infinite sadness. While that title may suggest art overdose, the 28 tracks inside don't. And frontman Billy Corgan and company actually don't take themselves too awfully seriously, as we learn when we caught up with them on the sun-baked set of a video shoot recently for the single Bullet with Butterfly Wings. Here's the story. Ready for my close-up. James just wants to be a star. You can tell by the blue eyeshadow. Imagine this scene. Uh, the name of the album's Gish. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the album Siamese Dream. The name of the album's Melancholy and Infinite Sadness. It was like. I call it the bad pun game. It couldn't be any worse than the name of the band. Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness it is. A 28-track double album that should keep Smashing Pumpkins fans busy for quite a while. Double album is totally a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and that was what really appealed to us, because, you know, if we die in that Leonard Skinner plane crash, you know, at least we've got this easy, all right? After we've finished every album, kids come up to me and say, I've got all of your material. When are you going to make a new album? So maybe this will shut them up. We recorded in about the same amount of time that we did the last record, and we had to do twice as many songs. We wrote somewhere between 40 and 60 songs. And um, how do we cut them down? Or cheesy. I just write about my life, you know? okay. What's left of it? That's why the next album will be like an EP. Why did you choose Bullet for the first video? The record company did a survey of uh, uh, Kmart shoppers between 30 and 40, and this is the song they came up with. This is the Blue Light Special. The Bullet with Butterfly Wings video is directed by Samuel Bayer, who recruited hundreds of extras that were such fans of the band, they were willing to cover themselves in mud for the entire day. These are not the children of Woodstock. Do they look like they want to rock? I have one thing to say. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> The youth of America continues to frighten me at an alarming pace. Never big fans of touring. This time around, instead of hitting the road, the pumpkins are hoping the road will come to them. Well, we're going to set up like in Chicago, like Nashville, and we're going to bust the people in. We'll get other alternative bands to set up their own theaters. We'll have like the Urge Theater, and uh, you know, Cole can have like a strip mall. <laughs> Magic and Pumpkins play a concert for fans at Chicago's Riviera Club on Monday. That are just more simple and and uh, simplicity makes things more accessible.